All right, let's Welcome. do Wednesday. Yes, with a man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's interesting you should touch on manhood. Uh -huh. mm. Uh, because Manliness. there's this there's this thing. Um, so I'm very, I'm on the fence about it, uh -huh. but I'm very interested in bodyscaping. Oh yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. So like uh, <laughs> bodyscaping meaning over grooming. I'm really interested in it, but I I don't know if I have the energy or zeal mm -hmm. or even. <laughs> financial backing to make sure it's always on point all the time. Yeah, so I think the so, question here basically is um, why do men, why do women yeah. have to shave while the men, while yeah. it's okay for the men, you know, to, you know, Ooh. leave their body hair, hair. Yeah. You know, especially in the armpits area. So if a guy, so if a guy is region. working out, you know, they lift weights and everything. Yeah, the, you know, And all everything. that sweat mm. dripping, you know, from but all then, <laughs> The hair though. Hey, wait, 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 hang no. on. You say no. no. Okay, so there, there's, a, there's a bit of... Um, <laughs> the opinion out there is actually very, very polar. Mm -hmm. um, some people like it, some people don't. Okay. There's also culture around it, where a woman is not expected to have any, you know, up in here, especially, or yeah. body hair. No. Mm -hmm. I don't, no, 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 wait, wait, I'm coming. I don't now. think it's let, a let cultural me, thing. thing. No, Are you sure? Okay. I don't think it's a cultural thing, but go ahead, no, please. please. I'm, I'm letting you finish. Especially in terms of, um, when you look at it in terms of fashion, if you were to wear a sleeveless shirt, for instance, and you yeah. went to, I think, it's like, oh, my friend. Oh, my friend! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you wouldn't be waving, <laughs> yeah. like, up in the air. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But personally, I... And I don't think it's restricted to just women, because I've been body shamed before. Why? For telling that I love to manscape, but not where people think about... Manscaping. That, that men manscaping. would naturally ma manscape. Or bodyscaping. Mm -hmm. Manscape now, in particular, mm -hmm. would refer to your nether regions. Yeah. And, okay. You know, people like to... But personally, I have a preference. Mm. I like a little walk in the meadows. I don't like, you know, I, I like a little, you know. You like some grass. I like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't, but, I don't, but not, so, but not, um, yeah. but, not but, but, but where I'm yeah. going is, where I really like to escape are my yeah. legs. And I told once that I, I would always shave my legs. I like that fine, slidey finish. I and mean, people came after so, me like, why would you, that's so But that is considered. Amongst other things. That's there, considered not very manly. It's considered exactly. the woman's thing. Yeah, yeah but I like um, it. But you know what? There is a theory that, um, in the 20th century, yeah. Um, <laughs> corporate interests were mm. the ones who actually established the, these standards. Oh. That women who kept their armpits, mm -hmm. you know, uh, um, were yeah. unhygienic mm -hmm. and they were on, they were, it was irritating. Mm -hmm. Really? You know, hence, just to sell products. Just to sell their brands. Just to sell their brands. It's a billion yeah. dollar and, and, industry. And, and, yeah. and that is how that, you know, that um, perception or mm -hmm. that. Um, um, Yes, has, yeah, it's, it was subtle, but it has, it had, it, I mean, it's, it's been there over the years and it has resonated with yeah. generations after generations after yeah. generations. That so you need as to... a woman, you need to be clean shaved. Mm. You don't have to have any of those things lurking around. I, I will tell you, you do, something, however. You need to take it out. It mm -hmm. goes against everything biology. Because, really? yes. There's a reason why it's there. There's a reason There's why a reason it's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you might say it's unhygienic, yeah. but then some biologists will tell you that it is actually very necessary. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, in terms of sexuality, mm -hmm. it is also very, very necessary. Mm. Because a man's aura... What? His is, essence. His essence. Is, mm. if, if we were really primitive, you would actually be more attracted to me because of how bad I smell. Oh, no! <laughs> no, stop! This is a fact... <laughs> You can go into nature and research it. And even till date, you're actually attracted to your husband yeah. because of the way he smells. Okay, well, so if, if he's passing and then, yeah. you know, I smell him pass by, I know it's him. That kind of... Yeah, he goes beyond that because okay. you're actually even sexually attracted to that smell aura. Oh, yes, really? you are. Okay, so okay. the thing is, I hear you, Mazinu. I mm. don't have a problem with your manly aura. Oh, you don't? Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> but... but Unfortunately, there are people who really do not know how, to, as much as these hairs actually have, you know, their, their uses, um, their, uses mm -hmm. their health uses. I mean, the hairs are there to help you trap some of those dirt. Yeah. People really do not know how to wash those know, places right? thoroughly. Uh, and hence, I hear it us. becomes even a health disease. It becomes a health problem Dreaded for you. Armpits. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so I hear us leaning into the body odor. Into hygiene area. and everything, mostly. And that has become a challenge for a lot mm. of people. That Some people don't even know that they have it. 
Um, but then also research has shown mm -hmm. that most of the time the odor, the odor isn't coming from the person's body, but it's actually the fabric of the clothes that they've yeah, well, been wearing. Yeah, true. This is so true. So a combination of the bacteria on the clothes and mm. the sweat is what causes the smell. So essentially... It's all storage, actually. It's yeah. when yeah. you store your clothes. clothes. Yes. Yeah. If you, do, if you mm. store them badly, mm -hmm. when yeah. you put them on, then they just... It's yeah. like so a what people boom. need to do is the minute you, for every outfit or for every clothing wear that yeah. you have on yeah. for that day, you if you don't have to wash it, some of us are like really lazy. No, <laughs> oh, or don't have out. access to water. Eh, eh. And some so people don't have, have, have access Not to water. Everybody. Wait first. <laughs> you take it out after the day's work yeah. and you dry outside Not so inside. that air can touch it. <laughs> and it can help you to, you know, uh, osmosis. Oh, oh well, I have <laughs> of no all idea. that, I, you know, I, I, I see, smell. I see. I, can I, take I, place I, and I, then I, it dissipates I into I the a, air. I have a I have a very um, big presence, so I, I only wear clothes only once. I, I, won't oh. wear. I do too. Yeah. I do just I once. Yes, once. I actually do. So it's an effort for a lot of people to wear an outfit only once because of maybe the time of day they get home mm. or the amount of outfits that they have, or even it could be a uniform that they have to wear to the <laughs> office five the next of them. year. Wear one every single yeah, day. but we're talking like people that can afford to have five different uniforms. Okay, if you cannot afford can. to, if you cannot afford to, because I know that mm. people are also going to yeah. say, but I cannot afford to. Yeah. That's why I said you take it out and you dry it outside. Mm. If it's really, really yeah. dirty, mm. then you wash it and then you dry it. Mm -hmm. There are other methods. I mean, in secondary school back then, where we had where we had just one pair of this or one pair of that, yeah. mm. you would wash and then you would put it. You would put your, the cloth into a towel, a towel and then and you squeeze, squeeze it. You used to do that. I thought it was yes. a boy thing. We used to, no. we used to process okay. our uniforms. We would, <laughs> we would squeeze and then we would spread it under our bunk bed. Nice. Yeah. Yes, we would spread it under our bunk and by right, the morning it was. It was Dry. Yeah. Right. You spread it on um, the bunk bed to iron it out. Yes, yeah? to iron it I out. To and that then that I thought, it was, I thought I invented it. I, oh, honestly, it's 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 another down. way, another way to kill bacteria is a pressing iron. You know, bacteria can't survive. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 wait, let me. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. But please, don't cement the bacteria. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Because honestly, then to three days oh, they're cementing the goodness me. Mm -mm. But then I don't this actually to that. brings the question: mm. What do? You, how do you tell someone with a body odor? Mm. Wait, 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 let me tell the story. Yeah, it's not even a story. A no, odor. I'm sure we've all had instances, what? even together, we've experienced. <laughs> like wow, everything. I don't know and what I've you're seen, talking about. I see these women; they're like, ah, who's going to do this? Let's draw straws, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you tell Why? the <laughs> But. I have no problem with Explain. telling a person. Yeah, yeah. I actually think you're doing a person a favor, mm. and I'm sure that you guys have actually witnessed me do that. I'm like, mm. I'm gonna I'm a walk up to you, like, dude, I'll find out. Hey, what's up? See, I beg, sure. Mm -hmm. I beg, just help me use this. It's mm -hmm. it's all it's all right. Yeah. I'm, I've had uh, experiences where people actually walk up to me and tell me that, hey, mm. you're a little fresh today. I'm like, I am grateful. Yeah. When you do that. So one of my most embarrassing but most grateful moments mm. was when I was working on air with a lady called Hawa. Okay. And okay, it's radio. It's mm -hmm. first thing in the morning and I said, Good morning, Nigeria. I was like, ooh, Mazino, on air. Ooh, you're a little fresh there. And I went, Whoa, what do you do? <laughs> so it was a it was a, it was a mouth odor. It was thing, mouth right? odor. Oh, odor. Oh, oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so so the, the challenge the challenge you have is, you know, figuring out the best way to tell the person yeah. I'm being nice and not judgmental about it mm -hmm. actually be. I think it's a two-way thing yeah. if you're told accept it appreciate it do yeah. not do not feel bad yeah. about yeah. it you know and then some people actually it. feel that the other end is the best is answer to body no it's not. <laughs> it's don't not. cement it Please. It's not. Just tell them how, how it is. Mm. Oh, and, and and I think we've had quite an inc interesting conversation. <laughs> yes, we have. Please actually. also like to hear your thoughts on social media. Reach, out, reach out to us on all our social media platforms mm -hmm. and TV. Say connect. You have to go on a quick break now, people. Please stay with us. <laughs>